when when somebody comes to see you in your office, what are the common complaints they have? They usually come because they know something is bothering either the acne or the acne scars or wrinkle or photo damage. So just walk me through what are the common patient scenario in your office? You're absolutely right. A lot of patients, are, most of them know what is the treatment they are looking for, whether it is acne or excessive hair growth versus um, um, unwanted pigmentation, um, maybe some vascular lesions. Right. Uh, depending on the skin type, mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, treatments, treatments available, available uh, ranging from laser to chemical peels. Right to Botox, to fillers, to reverse the signs of aging. Uh, and, and at times we just recommend single modality or a combination of modalities. Right, so that's where your expertise comes in, that yes, you have wrinkles, yes, we're going to do the Botox, but listen, if we just do Botox, it might not give you the 100% results and you might need either, um, you know, Filler fillers or, or, or uh, chemical peel. Resurfacing peeling. with chemical peel or laser. Right. So. Tell me when somebody comes, what do you go through the process, the consent, the complications, and, and what is the scenario? I know we've discussed this in past, people think like with one shot the results are going to come, but the most important thing with aesthetic is patience. You might not see immediate results. It takes few settings to see the results and don't give up just after one sit sitting that, oh, I didn't see any result. That is very important. Just like any any uh, damage to occur did not happen overnight. Right. So reversal will also take some time. It will not happen overnight. Uh, and definitely a combination of treatments does give a better result rather than just one single treatment. Right. But uh, most of the patients uh, require more than one treatment to see the results. At times there are uh, patients, you'll see in the slides further, that even one treatment has helped, but patient has to be a, a realistic. We have to be have realistic goals as to how far we can reverse the damage that has already taken place. Right. So that is one very important thing the patient should realize that when they come for a consultation, nothing is going to happen right away. It takes patience, takes time, and you know they have to be persistent in exactly. treatment. So walk us through laser. Like what is laser used for? What is the common conditions as you have beautiful slides of before and after pictures. So talk a little bit more about laser. Lasers, actually there are a lot of lasers available in the market these days. In fact, in the past there used to be lasers which could be used only on skin type 1 to 6. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, newer lasers that are available in the market, we are able to treat all skin types ranging skin, from... Sorry to uh, interrupt you, skin type 1 to 6 means it's depending upon the amount of pigmentation. Uh, no, it's not regarding to the amount of pigmentation. Now, I'll show you a slide uh -huh. where uh, you can see that uh, skin type 1 are the uh, patients who have, when they go out in the sun, they always burn, okay. never tan. Uh -huh. Skin type 2 are the patients who usually burn, right. but sometimes they have the tanning effect of the sun. Uh -huh. Skin type 3 sometimes burn, uh, but they always tan. Right. Skin type 4 never burn, they always tan. Five are moderately pigmented and four are black skin people. Right. So where do Indians fit in? Uh, usually Indians range from skin type four, four to, to six. Four to six. Yes. So that's very important when you go for aesthetic that if they have the laser which is treatable for our skin type, that's correct. That's right. All right. That's right. Uh, and, and the lasers are used for a variety of treatments uh, such as uh, people have, uh, younger people mostly have the concern of unwanted hair growth. We can help right. them decrease the uh, hair growth. It's, it's called permanent hair reduction. Mm -hmm. Then it is used to treat acne, acne scars associated with acne. It is used for cutaneous lesions such as vessels, rosacea. Uh, also for uh, photo rejuvenation. Latest uh, lasers are doing very good in treatment of toenail fungus. Wow. This is a new indication that has come up and a um, lot of people have toenail fungus because of their feet and the shoes, sweaty socks and it's very hard to treat because the nail grows at such a slow pace and they have to take months of oral treatment to get right. rid of that. Right. 
while uh, with uh, the laser you can get rid of the fungus within uh, say two to three treatments wow. which have to of course be spaced out because the nail grows at a very slow pace and you have to wait for the nail to grow and then let the gr uh, fungus grow out. Wow. So I know you have a nice pictures of um, laser hair reductions and so we'll go through some of those things uh, but when you counsel somebody you do talk about complications and uh, walk us through if um, along with the Botox and laser what complications you would tell people um, regarding all this aesthetic procedure. Um, I would like to speak about the laser first. Laser is actually a very safe treatment. Uh, of course, we uh, do not treat patients who are pregnant or right. lactating. We do not treat patients who are less than 18 years of age. Okay. Um, just for safety's sake, because uh, even though they are very safe procedures, long-term studies haven't been done on pregnant uh, patients. So right. we, do, we avoid uh, treating such patients. Um, and before uh, starting any treatment, we definitely give them uh, advice about smoking cessation, sun prevention, mm -hmm. and uh, proper nutrition and uh, hydration. That is very important. Right. And you do ask them to wear uh, like eye covers, right? Like uh, glasses, so that Absolutely. If, even if by chance, if there's any laser which can disperse, it doesn't like damage the, the eye, eyes. Damage the so eye. That, that, that precautions you'll take it with For that. the patient and for the person who's treating. Who treating. So it's very important to wear the cover of, for the eyes. Um, laser uh, side effects are very few. It can be like uh, when you are treating the patient, the patient might feel like a rubber band snapping on their face. Mm -hmm. They might have slight redness uh, post-treatment lasting for a, maybe an hour or so. Mm -hmm. Very less downtime with lasers. And you just give ice packs just to help them cool off? If the patients uh, are very sensitive to the treatment, most mostly we don't even need that. Need wow. But uh, definitely ice packs act as a very good uh, anesthetics if uh, patients Patient. are very um, sensitive to the laser light.